this video is highly requested from you guys so I will do my absolutely best showing you the pieces that I love the most and of course how I love to mix and match my jewelry but also which pieces I think is really essential to have in your jewelry box. So this is Jewelry 101 with me Julie. I would love to share with you like the things that I've learned during the years. Not only do I love designing jewelry of course, but I love mixing and matching my jewelry and of course just mixing pieces together to make a combined look. So I thought I would start showing you what I wear on normal and regular day like this. So I have multiple piercings, but not a lot. I actually would like to have a few more. I have two here and I have one here. So I would like to just get another one here. So I have three and I have three. So I have no excuse. I just need to get it done. One of my favorite earrings are these pearl earrings. They are the Able Set A earrings and we have it in both gold and silver. So these are definitely one of my favorite earrings that I wear a lot. But I also love to wear these earrings. And the reason why I love these earrings are because you can wear them in two ways. So you can wear it without this and just wear the little flower here. So that is why I love to wear that kind of earring. And we also have this one that you can do the same with. Like. So we actually have these three earrings that you can do it with. And they are so cute so they are definitely some of my favorites too okay so let's move on to my bracelets so i always wear my bangles i really try not to take them off too much because actually it's better for the lock if you don't because if you're taking them off and on all the time it can hurt the lock a little bit so for me i like to wear them for a long time even when I am sleeping. So this bracelet is from the Sahara collection and I really love it. And the reason why I love it is of course because it's beautiful but also because it was one of the first bracelets that I designed. And it's just, you know, it's, I just think it's so eye-catching. It's both gold and it's silver. And then with the yellow emerald in the middle, it's just, oh, I love it. And if you've seen me on some picture on Instagram, you can see I wear this bracelet all the time. And on the other arm, I'm just wearing this simple, tiny, small and daunty bracelet from this hair collection. And we have it with only white stones, but also with these small yellow stones. And actually, I love this yellow color because it's really light. It's not something that is really, you know, too yellow. It's just really light, but it still gives you some kind of more um, eye-catching look than just doing the white stones all the time. So that is why I love to wear a little bit yellow in my designs too. So I love rings, I love to stack, I love to layer, everything about rings is just, I love rings. I normally wear only rings on this finger and this finger and it's not because I don't think it's beautiful on the other two fingers, it's just what I have been used to and what I have always done. And also because I love to go a little bit chunky on these fingers so sometimes I think it's a bit too much if I put rings here and rings here also. But it's definitely how you like to do it and that's that's nice with jewelry because it's just how you style it it can look good whatever you do if you just do what you think is pretty it will automatically look good so it's just how you like it but i love to have some kind of a thin ring here on this finger i also love to take two thin band rings like this so sometimes i love just to take a ring like this one so i just love to have a small ring on that finger and then go a little bit more chunky on the other finger so the tulip ring is definitely a favorite of mine and we actually have it as both a necklace and as earrings and then also um, this ring was one of the first diamond rings i got from my beloved boyfriend oliver and actually with a lot of these pieces they're symbolizing a special time of my life and that is what i love about jewelry because a lot of jewelry you know have a symbol or maybe you have got a gift or maybe it's just a piece that you have given yourself because then you have worked hard or it's just jewelry is really nice and it can symbolize so many things and a lot of jewelry have a meaning and for me it is the same so the tulip ring was also one of the first designs i made the thin ring of course that was something i got from my beloved oliver and this ring i designed together with my mom and these two rings i designed when i was in italy with my family so here i love to go a little more simple um, usually because I actually wear a lot more bangles. I love to wear some silver bangles together with my gold bangles. So that is why I go a little bit more simple on this hand. But I love these two rings. But I also love to take rings like these. So if I put the small one and the ring like this and ring like this. But I also really love to do a bit of stacking on that hand. So it could be something like this where I have three rings on. So I'm 
using the two thin band rings and then a ring in the middle. I really love that. So let's talk about chains because I really love to just wear some kind of a simple short chain like this one. And the ones that I wear here is the petite necklace from the Oxford collection. And of course, again, we have it in both gold and in silver. Um, but the reason why I just love this is because I think it matches with everything and I just love to wear a simple piece that is nice to wear and you don't have to take it off all the time. So I love to actually wear this one together with this one and they are from the same collection of course and they are pretty much the same. This is just a little bit longer but these two together really makes a great look. And the nice thing about these chains is that of course you can choose the length yourself so they come with an extender on so that is really nice but as you can see it's really a cute look when you're wearing um, these two necklaces together but i could also match it with the third layer of necklace so it could be something like this or it could be anything actually and again i really love mixing gold and silver so even though these two chains are gold i could definitely wear a third that was silver and again it has the little gold heart so it's really just how you like it um, but these two necklaces are definitely my favorites i wear them all the time so some of you have asked if i sleep with my jewelry on and um no i don't well i do sleep with my bangles on and sometimes of course i sleep with my necklaces on but i would not suggest to sleep with your jewelry first of all because i think it's uncomfortable sleeping with your jewelry so i just sleep better without and also because it's much better for your jewelry just you know to breathe and be safely to start in your jewelry box instead of you when you're sleeping and especially with your rings because when you're sleeping sometimes you are laying on your hand and the rings can be crooked and then the prongs will move and some stones can fall out so that is really not a good idea so take your rings off when you're sleeping and also your other jewelry because you're just sleeping better but of course i understand it's nice to never be out of character so i also do sleep with my jewelry on and do i shower with my jewelry well i do with some of my jewelry i do it with the silver pieces i don't do it with the gold plated pieces because they will stay more pretty for a longer time if you don't but all in all i think it's better that you clean your jewelry with silver cleaner or any other kind of cleaner instead of taking them with you in the shower so before we talk about how to mix and match and how to style yourself i thought it would be nice to talk about which pieces are must-have and which pieces you should buy first and what are basic pieces that you will love for years to come so how do we begin i think a good pair of stud earrings um, are really nice to have also because you know they are really classic and they will never run out of style and a pair of round cut stud like these are really simple and they will just always stay pretty. So for me, a basic pair of stud earrings was also what I got the first. So that is why, of course, I suggest that you should do the same because you can wear it together with everything and you will never be tired of a pair of stud like these. So we have these earrings in round cut, but we also have them in hard cut like this. So are you really a romantic girl? I would suggest that you get these instead of um, but as you can see, they are really fresh, they are really young and you can mix it together with so many other kind of jewelry. So if you have multiple piercings, I think it's nice to have a simple pair of stud earrings because you can layer so many other earrings together with these studs. So if you want something that is not that sparkly, I suggest that you go for a bit more classic simple stud. It could be something like these or maybe these but these could be a really good investment too to just have something simple to start with so if you want something that is a little bit more naturist you can get these earrings and they are so sweet too they are small tulip and as you have seen i have it on as a ring and we actually also have it as a necklace as you can see here so it's really sweet and they are really sweet on they are not too big and that is something that i think is really important um, with especially stud earrings because I think it's nice to get a pair of studs that are neither too big or too small because if they are too big they will sit a little bit weird on your ear so I really love these stud earrings because you know they are really basic they are really fresh and really young and you can mix and match it with so many other kind of earrings and that is what I love with these earrings and they are really light but that's really typical for all the earrings on Able Set because for me when I started to design earrings it was really important that they were not too heavy maybe you have seen your grandmother or your mom but their piercing are some kind of long because they have worn earrings that are too heavy and that is just not comfortable so you could also start with just a regular hoop earring 
So even with these hoop earrings, they are really classic and really simple, but they are still unique because of the little stone here. So that is what, you know, with a lot of the pieces that I have created. Um, I love taking some of the classics, but then make them unique in some way. For me, I don't like too big hoops and I don't like too small hoops either. Um, but these hoops are the biggest ones that we have. Um, and again, we have them in both gold and in silver. So for me, these hoops are the perfect size. I don't think they should be bigger than this, but again, it's really individual and you should do what you like. But these are perfect if you want some hoops that are a bit more classic. Um, so let me show you the other hoops that we have because we have some different kinds. And these are the hoops that is just a little bit smaller, but still um, one of the biggest that we have. And they are beautiful all the way around. As you can see, it has stones all the way up here. So whatever angle you see this earring from, it's beautiful and it's so nice. So even though these hoops looks a bit heavy, they are just not. They are really great to wear. And how beautiful are they? I don't know what pair of hoops that are my favorites. Anyways, let me show you these. So these are so cute too. Again, simple hoops, but then we have made a little twist with the blue inside and it really makes the earrings just a little bit more fun. So actually a thing you could do is to layer up your hoops like this. So you are wearing two hoops at the same time. I actually think it looks really nice. Anyway, let me show you the last pair of hoops. So these are from the Flora collection. So these earrings are made in two colors and they are super light. So again, it's it's really nice to have uh, some earrings that are not too heavy and we don't have uh, earrings that are heavy or not nice to wear on the ear on either side. So these hoops are the smallest hoops that we have, but I still think that they are in the size of medium. Like they're not too small, but not too big either. I really love them. Um, I love that they are in two colors. So these hoops are a part of the Flora collection and we actually have a ring that matches with that and a necklace and a bracelet. Here are the ring um, and I have it on here in silver and here are the necklace. It's really a beautiful set. Like if you want to treat yourself extra, you could buy this set or maybe if you're going to buy a gift, actually you can get it as a set and then get minus 20% off when you're buying it as a set. Um, but this is really a sweet set. If you're really a nature girl, the flower collection is definitely for you. Okay, so let's talk about pearl jewelry because I think pearl jewelry is really, you know, it's feminine, it's pretty, it's really daunty, but still at the same time, it's really, you know, if you have a strong personality and really, and really like um, a lady boss, I think pearl jewelry is just for you. So we have some different kind of pearl earrings on Abelstead, but the Abelstead A earrings are definitely my favorite freshwater pearl earrings. And yes, our pearls are freshwater pearls and that is the best quality of pearls you can get. It was really important for me to get freshwater pearls instead of seawater pearls because you can really see the difference from these two qualities. But my favorite pearl earrings are the Abelstead A. And the reason for that is not only the design, but also because they were the first pair of earrings that I designed for myself. And then later on, I decided that of course it should be um, in production so all of you girls could get the same earrings because I got so many compliments on these earrings. So that was why I made the Abel's at A collection. It was actually because of these earrings. Um, so now we have the bangles and we have um we have this ring also and of course we have the necklace too and we have the little bangle as you see here so yeah actually these earrings was the beginning of the whole Edelstead a collection so we have these earrings too and we have them in both gold and in silver and actually i wore these earrings during the whole season of christmas so how sweet are they like they matches everything so if you want a stud pearl earrings, you could get these because they are actually studs and they are not dangling. So these would be the perfect shoes for you if that is what you want. For next year, I will definitely wear these again. So I don't know about you, but I think it's really common that when you're born, you get some kind of jewelry. And when I was born, I got a heart um, necklace. So in some way, I think that a heart pendant or just a heart necklace is really a nice piece to have because the symbol never runs out of fashion and it just symbolizing something beautiful and something that we all love of course so that was why i decided that we need of course a collection with hearts so that was why we called it the loving collection so this is one of my favorite pieces and it actually has a really cute story um first of all 
I love the dangling heart. I think it's a sweet little feature on the necklace. It is really special for me because unfortunately the pendant I got from my uncle um, when I was born with a little gold heart was stolen but I also received a necklace from my mom and it was also a heart necklace and actually it has been my grandmother and it has been her mother's so it has been in generations and now it's handed to me and of course if I get a girl I will give her the same necklace um, so actually the fun thing is that the heart that is in this pendant is exactly the heart that is on my necklace that I got from my mom so that is why this necklace is really unique for me and I really think that the dangling heart is so cute. So I will just remove my hair so you can see how it looks on. I think it's really, really pretty. It's so unique and so flattering. And again, it has the two colors. It both has the gold heart and it has the silver bezel cut around the McQueen stones. I really think it's beautiful. So this is really a unique piece for me. Um, so here's another necklace from the Loving Collection and this is our bestseller. So again we have it in both gold and in silver and I can understand why this is a bestseller. It's just overall a cute little necklace with a heart and then a round cut stone. I think in some way it's nice to have a heart necklace in your collection in some way because you will never get tired of it. Well I don't. Oh so I forgot to show you that we actually also have it as a ring and as an earring. Let's talk about rings. So I will set my rings aside so I can show you a bit more of what I have. Okay, so first I really love to wear some kind of a symbol ring on this finger. Um, it could be this flower ring, but it could also be some kind of just a thin band ring like this one. Um, I just think that it's nice to have something simple on this finger because I love to go a little bit more chunky on this finger. So here again, I will maybe choose something a bit more chunky. It could be something like this, you know. Um, some kind of band ring together with another thin ring or just layering. So another thing I love to do here is also to um, stack the thin ring and then take maybe a solitaire ring or something like that. It could be this one, which is definitely bestseller too. Um, and then put this one together with. It's just about having fun, but this could definitely be something that I would love to do on this finger. So when is it too much? Like only you can say when it's too much it's also you know it's really individual on how you like it but again if i wear a lot of bangles and a lot of rings sometimes i think it can be too much to wear too many necklaces or too big earrings so if you love it it would automatically look good on you it's definitely how it is and so you just have to wear your jewelry with confidence and with pride 